my piece of land, I'm going to do what I want, and I'll just plug it in in an independent driveway into Perdido Key Drive. Okay? That's exactly what's been happening. What you see here, and the reason it looks so incoherent, and you have such <coughs> weird driveway conditions, and it's very hard to know where you turn in or turn out, is that everybody's working independently. That's normally very hard to do. That has been made a lot easier for two reasons. First of all, the recession has had all the developers back off. They're not hysterical about moving ahead. They're not certain that everything's going to sell immediately, that kind of thing. The developers are much more humble now, and they're talking. And one of the nice things is that they're virtually all come in. They right. heard this was happening, we've been showing them, and they say, fine, this is a better idea than I had before. Okay, so that's great, and that's the hard part. The other thing that's very difficult, and we haven't solved it, is we have the Perdido Key Beach Mouse, which is an endangered species, has recently had its purview expanded to be its habitat. Not just where the mouse is, but where the mouse can potentially be. And that covers virtually all of the open ground, other than wetlands. So you have built ground, you have wetlands, which you can't build on and never could before, and then you have this new habitat thing, which is wherever the mouse can be. This got intercepted by the county early and said, well, these people who need to expand their houses and build their driveways, they can't go up and get individual permits up in D.C. with the feds. So they got themselves, or are about to get themselves, hopefully, uh, a, a, the ability to grant 66 acres of, as it were, encroachment into the, Perdido, into the habitat locally. You still have to prove you need it, you still have to pay for it, not a lot, but you have to pay for it. But at least you go locally. And the local people, I've met them, a guy called Tim, I forget his last name now, actually wants to do it quickly. He doesn't want to, Tim what? Day. Okay. He doesn't want to torture you. Okay, so that's good news. If it all goes through, and it's not clear, and I was told, never say it isn't, you know, nothing's certain when the feds are involved. Um, <laughs> Right? Nothing is certain. Don't ever promise anything. But if it goes through, you can actually begin to modify this outline. So, I want to say one thing absolutely clearly. The hard part here is relatively easy, but there's a whole new layer of hard part that I've never run across before. Which is that everywhere you do anything at all, you, the beach mouse doesn't like it. Or, the, or the, the minders of the beach mouse don't like it. And I don't know where that comes out. I'm going to show you plans that try to stay out of trouble and try to give corridors and so forth to the beach mouse, but this is totally new territory, okay? Totally new territory in which if everything is strictly administered and everything goes badly, none of what we say can happen because simply everything is in pink, the pink area. So let's just, let's just uh, assume that things are going to go well that the feds and uh, the local uh, fish and wildlife and everybody else is going to be reasonable and that things are going to work out, okay? But, so I'm being very, this is an optimistic plan. Andres, okay, yes. I'm going to go over the slides, you just let me 